Once again, we are on the road to WrestleMania, and our next stop is WWF's Monday Night Raw, March the 24th, 1997, and seven days away from WrestleMania 13. I'm looking forward to this. This is heading in the right direction. Yeah. Yes. We are live from Syracuse, New York, and calling the action are Vince McMahon, Jim Ross, and Jerry the King Lawler. It already sounds like it's better. And also, I do like the old Raw intro with the warehouse, as it reminds me of playing WWF Warzone on the PlayStation. Is this the one where Austin walks in and there's the fire? Yes, come I out love the this. Goes, yeah. And you get that uh, siren go. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. Did you ever play the game? I didn't. The opening match: the Legion of Doom versus Crush and Xavier Vega with Clarence Mason, PG Thirteen, and D'Lo Brown. This match is. Basically hyping up their six-man tag at WrestleMania. Yeah, uh, do you know the one thing that stood out for me when you said that is PG-13? I liked PG-13. <laughs> they were a little bit out there. They were different. Again, that attitude is coming in. They came to the ring with like chains around their neck, hubcaps I think they carried. Yeah. <laughs> and they'd wrap to the ring as well. Yeah, they would have uh, an always you'd have Farouk behind them serious. Yes. It works. It's a brawl right from the start. Ahmed cuts a backstage promo as the match goes on. I always found it quite difficult to understand Ahmed. Yeah, and you're not the only one. <laughs> Farouk runs down with a nightstick for the DQ. Still in the right direction. We're yeah. setting up towards the Chicago street fight, which is actually amazing. It is. Gorilla Monsoon is on his way to the arena. Your thoughts on Gorilla as president? Gorilla in 1997 sounds so wrong. It does, doesn't it? But... Some of the stuff that he did with Steve Austin was pretty good. Was quite yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Where he said that he needs to eat a load of bananas or shove them up his That's ass or whatever. Right. And yes. the way that Gorilla was such a nice, gentle sort of giant, yes. and you had Austin with him like backstage, was such a contrast that worked. Yeah. yeah. And talking about presidents, if you look at the link right now on the page, you can go back and see Jack Tunney. And let us know what you think about that. Next up, Hunter Hearst Helmsley with China versus Flash Funk and the Funkettes. China was still pretty new here. Quick TV match. Pretty similar to the one they had at In Your House 15. Hunter hits the pedigree for the win. It's building Hunter. It is. Like we've, we've now got China there and we're heading towards DX. Next match, Mini Vader and Mini Mankind versus Mini Gold Dust and Mascarita Sagrada Jr. I think I pronounced that correctly. This is really strange. Do you like the minis? I think they're talented, but I always feel uncomfortable when they're on. I don't know why. <laughs> and I didn't mind the minis. I thought they were actually quite good, some of them. Yeah, I just think that it almost felt like exploitation. <laughs> it was fun for what it was. The crowd actually got into it. And Sagrada does a decent dive off the stage onto Mini Vader. Which is Some of the talent is unreal. We get clips of The Undertaker showing up to a press conference with a gravestone to celebrate the death of Tax on pro wrestling. This looked really awkward. The Undertaker was in full outfit, everything, and he just looked so uncomfortable. We get a WrestleMania 13 hype video. And then Gorilla Monsoon confirms that the main event tonight will be Sid defending his WWF title against Bret Hart in a steel cage. We get a commercial for the WWF Full Metal Entrance Music CD. I love this CD. Yeah. I managed to get hold of this and they weren't releasing music. They hadn't done for years and I managed to get hold of this. This was before the WWF Music Volume 2, 3 and all of that. I loved it. I played it on repeat. Kevin Kelly d conducts an in-ring interview with Brett. He doesn't care if people don't like him getting the shot because he's earned it. Yep. I thought this was decent and I enjoyed this. Yep. And I think what people are going to see is there's long-term story building in this when we do Raw after WrestleMania in 1997. Yeah. Kevin Kelly, were you a fan? I don't know. Uh, he always felt like he was uh, a substitute. Yes, I was never a fan. To be fair, he has gone on and done really well. He I mean, has, yes. Yeah, he's, he's in New Japan now. He, he was commentator for Ring of Honor and he was in AEW mm. until recently. WWF Intercontinental Champion Rocky Maivia joins commentary as we get the Sultan with Bob Backlund and the Iron Sheik versus Mike Bell. 
when we think of where we're going to be in a year's time and we see Rocky My Fear, yeah. yeah, even Rikishi, yeah, who that is the Sultan, by the way. I think Tony Atlas it? comes out of the crowd to calm Rocky down because he is very angry. Shawn Michaels is out next. Sean thanks the fans for their support when he was out after losing his smile and hurting his knee. I think this is the thing that tips Brett over the edge behind the scenes. We get full-sized Vader versus okay. Davy Boy Smith. Mankind and Vader will be facing Owen and Davy for the tag titles at Mania. Bulldog counters a crossbody into a slam and makes a comeback before Mankind interferes for another DQ finish. Billy Gunn versus Aaron Ferguson. Can Shamrock joins us for commentary? Billy Gunn calls out Shamrock. Shamrock takes Gunn down. I thought this was a good way of showing off Ken Shamrock. And following this, Stone Cold cuts a promo from the locker room. He says that he isn't impressed with Shamrock because Billy Gunn had just been in a brutal match and wasn't at 100% when Shamrock showed him up. WF champion Psycho Sid then cuts a promo where he threatens Stone Cold to stay out of his business. And then we're on to the main event. It's the steel cage match, Psycho Sid with The Undertaker versus Bret Hart with Stone Cold. Both of their opponents at WrestleMania want their opponent to win. They go into the match for the title at WrestleMania. Clever. And this is the old school blue cage as well. Taker swings the cage door in Bret's face and that allows Sid to climb out to retain the title. Raw cuts the commercial and when we return, Bret is still in the ring. He shoves down Vince and then cuts a great Promo. Amazing promo. Do you think there's a argument for actually Brett starting the Attitude Era? I'd say yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think there is. Sid comes back out to the ring, quickly followed by The Undertaker, at which point Brett dives to the outside and all hell breaks loose. We are fully got our accelerator heading to the Attitude Era. So don't forget to stay tuned because we have the night after WrestleMania 13, which you can dive into and go check out as well as all our other videos. Fantastic.